hi guys uh, in this video uh, I'll be showing you how to write MATLAB code for Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse as we all know rectangular function or rectangular pulse is defined as uh, x of t so it's a continuous time so x of t is 1 for t varying from minus t by 2 to t by 2 and equal to 0 otherwise so yeah, one thing you have to notice here is the width of this rectangular pulse is capital T so the distance is total distance is capital T and if you take a continuous time Fourier transform uh, for this rectangular function uh, which is defined by x of j omega or in a simple way we can call it as x of omega is integrating from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 uh, because from minus t by 2 to t by 2 it is 1 and it is equal to 0 otherwise so x of t e power minus j omega t dt since x of t is 1 so its coefficient is 1 and if we do uh, the integration and if we simplify so this is in the form of e power j theta minus e power minus j theta 2j times so jj cancels out and we end up with sin omega t by 2 divided by omega t so this is called as actually sync function and how does the sync function looks like this is how a sync function looks like so this is a rectangular pulse when we take the Fourier transform continuous time Fourier transform of this rectangular pulse we end up with a sync function uh, and this sync function will cross 0 at each and every integer multiple of 2 pi by t that is 0 1 times 2 pi by t 2 times 2 pi by t 3 times 2 pi by t and so on and this amplitude of this tile in both the side will goes to 0 as omega approaches to infinity uh, one more thing we need to notice here is the width of this rectangular pulse is inversely proportional to the width of this this sync function if width decreases width of the sync function will increase and vice versa and the other thing is uh, these two are actually Fourier transform pair that is Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse will give sync function that is in time domain rectangular pulse in frequency domain it's a sync function and this is for this is true for the other way around that is Fourier transform of a sync function in one domain is equal to uh, the rectangular function in the other domain uh, this is about the sync function and rectangular pulse now we will try to write the MATLAB code for it CLC clear all close all so before that we will have a comment for title uh, Fourier transform of rectangular pulse if you go to the command window and if you type help space rect puls you get to see the details more details on rectangular pulse in the command window uh, yeah we have more details if you want to refer but we will use it here. I will I will show you what are the arguments to pass in the rectangular pulse. I will read two parameter here. One is width of the rectangular pulse and the duration of the rectangular pulse. I will I will read the width at cap uh, in A input A equal to input enter width of pulse and we'll read duration I will have it in time input enter range or duration of pulse so in small letter of x since it is in time domain I will take it in small letter of x uh, is equal to RECT PULS of x axis comma y axis is the uh, format first first parameter is x axis t and the other parameter is uh, width a t comma a uh, next we will plot it figure 
figure of one. I'll put it in figure of one. Plot x axis comma y axis. X axis is t comma y axis is the function of time, which is rectangular pulse. So we'll check the output first, and then we'll proceed further. We'll save it. Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse. It is asking me to enter width of the pulse. I'll put width as one. Enter range of the pulse. So I'll put it in a square bracket. It starts from minus two uh, with the resolution of zero point zero one and ends at two. Yeah. Uh, as we can see, width is one. So that is my minus five two plus five. And range it starts from minus two and ends at two, uh, and the width, the amplitude at t varying from minus five point five to plus point five is one. You can even since it just looks like two line because of this limit, we can increase the range of this since uh, I mean I can make this to vary from zero to two so that I can see a proper rectangular pulse. That I can do by adding one more line after the plot, and the command is ax axis axis of in a square bracket uh, format is x minimum, and next argument is x maximum, and y minimum and y y maximum. Uh, x minimum. I will show you what are these four. So x minimum is this value x maximum is this value y minimum is this value and y maximum is this value so in this case i don't want to alter x minimum x maximum let it be minus 2 and plus 2 even y minimum start from 0 whereas y maximum i want this to go to 2 so we'll do that here x minimum is minus 2 x maximum is 2 y minimum is 0 and y maximum is 2 we'll run the code will have the same values yeah so now this looks like a nice sine wave where I increase the y axis range now we'll take its Fourier transform in the sense we'll take discrete Fourier transform uh, we'll, we'll keep it in capital X is equal to FFT of small letter X so X has the Fourier transform of the rectangle pulse capital X has the Fourier transform of rectangular pulse uh, we'll plot it in figure but we'll, we shall have two figures subplot I have two p subplot p l o t two figures two rows in, in one below the other one column and that first figure so similarly so I'll have subplot two rows one column and that second figure plot x axis is t comma y axis is absolute value of capital X so we'll see what are we getting here we'll maintain the same values Fine. so actually we it is a sync function I will show you by zooming it in, it's actually a sync function since I have taken uh, absolute value, all the negative is coming to the positive side, and this is just a half because of the symmetry property of DFT. Uh, in the sense, first sam second sample is equal to last sample, anyhow, first sample will be at k equal to zero, it's a DC component, it's a real number, and rest of the half samples is complex conjugate of the other end of the half so that's what happening here so what we do is we take uh, we take at k equal to 0 sample at the middle and we combine this half and this half so this is done by MATLAB uh, using the command f50 shift so I can add it here f50 shift of absolute value of capital X if this is the case uh, we get a proper sync function 
yeah so now we can see a proper sync function here uh, uh, as I told you at the beginning the width of this rectangular pulses is in pulse is inversely proportional to width of this sync function will decrease the width and see we will we'll see what's happening uh, as I told this has to increase right uh, I'll run it instead of giving 1 I will give 0 0.2 I'll maintain the same range yes now the width got decreased whereas sync function width got increased so, thank you thank you for watching